Nick, an adult exerts a horizontal force on a swing that is suspended by a rope of length L, holding it at an angle, theta, with the vertical, and uh, is shown in the figure here. The child on the swing has a weight W and dimensions that are negligible compared to the length of the swing L. The weights of the rope and of the seat are negligible. In terms of W and theta, determine the tension of the rope. So uh, let's start by determining the tension of the rope. So uh, let's draw a free body diagram for the child on the swing. So if this is the child, there is going to be a force of tension preventing him from falling off the swing. And of course there's gravity just pulling him down. And the adult is pulling him back uh, with a horizontal force. I'm just going to call this force F, uh, the force of the adult's pull. Now we can decompose tension into two of its components. So if this is the angle theta, this will still be the angle theta, and this makes a right angle. So from trigonometry, this force becomes T times the cosine of theta, and this force becomes T times the sine of theta. And uh, I'm going to say that the uh, upward direction is the positive y direction, and the right, uh, the direction pointing towards the right is going to be the positive x direction. So now we can use Newton's second law, which says that the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration of the object. So let's start by writing one out for the horizontal uh, part. So uh, in the x direction, or the horizontal direction, you have the tension times the sine of theta minus uh, the force from the adult's pull. And that is equal to the mass times acceleration of the child, which is zero, since the child is at rest and is not accelerating at all. So this is simply equal to zero. And the same thing uh, goes for the vertical section. Uh, t t tension times the cosine of theta minus uh, the mass times gravity, mg, is also equal to zero. So from the second equation, we can calculate the value of uh, tension, or the force of tension, which is equal to uh, the child's weight, uh, mg, divided by the cosine, cosine of the angle theta. Uh, I should actually uh, replace uh, mg here. Oops. Going to uh, try to replace mg. I've kind of gotten used to writing mg, but this should actually be the weight. Uh, mg is simply the expression for the weight of the child. So I'm going to rewrite this. And the mass times gravity is the child's weight. So this is actually the weight of the child. So the tension is equal to the weight of the child divided by the cosine of theta. And that's our expression for uh, tension. So for A, the tension is equal to the weight divided by the cosine of theta. And that's the tension force. Now it asks us to calculate the horizontal uh, force exerted by the adult. So uh, we don't need this second equation anymore. So we need to solve for the horizontal force exerted by the adult. So uh, solving for that, we get that the adult's horizontal uh, force, pulling force, is equal to the tension times the sine of theta, which uh, we can substitute our value for uh, tension back in, where uh, tension is the child's weight divided by the cosine of theta. So this is the weight divided by the cosine of theta times the sine of theta. So you get that the adult's pulling force is equal to W tan theta. W, the child's weight times the tangent of theta. Uh, this is because sine uh, theta divided by cosine theta is tangent. Uh, is the tangent of theta. So that's uh, our second part. So that the force exerted by the adult I'm going to actually write them all up here. Tension is equal to weight divided by cosine theta for E, 
the force from the adult is equal to the weight times the tangent of theta. And now C asks us, uh, says that the adult releases the swing from rest. In terms of w, the child's weight W and theta, determine the tension in the rope as the swing passes through its lowest point. So, uh, let's draw a free body diagram of the child passing through the lowest point. So when the adult releases him, he's going to start undergoing some circular motion. So if I draw uh, this to be his swing L, and this is the base of the motion, the child is gonna start undergoing circular motion towards the uh, center or the bottom of the swing. So uh, after the adult releases, the only two forces acting on him when he's straight uh, going through the bottom of the swing at the very bottom are the force of tension and mg or his weight the child's weight and again this upwards is the positive y direction and uh, we don't really need an x direction since there are no forces acting on him uh, in the x direction so from that we can say that the tension minus the child's weight is equal to the mass times its acceleration, which in this case is the centripetal acceleration towards the center of the circle. Uh, this is because the child is undergoing circular motion, so there's going to be a circular force, or a centripetal force, or radial force, keeping him from flying uh, out of the circle. And uh, in this case, positive is also the radial direction. So this is pointing towards the center of the circle, or the center of the swing. And if you remember, the centripetal acceleration is equal to the quantity v squared over r. So the child's linear velocity divided by the radius. And in this case, the radius is l, which is the length of the swing. So that's part. So this becomes the tension minus the weight is equal to the mass times velocity squared divided by L. And now uh, we need to figure out the tension here. So the tension simply becomes mass times the velocity squared uh, divided by L plus W. And uh, I'm actually going to put the weight in front of everything. But so that's our expression for tension. Tension is equal to weight plus mv squared over uh, the length of the swing L. But we're not done yet since it asks us to express it in terms of the weight and the angle theta. And we can't use other quantities like velocity in there. So uh, there's actually another part that uh, we're missing here. So if I make some more room here. If you remember from uh, energy conservation, you know that the kinetic energy is equal to the uh, gravitational potential energy. So the kinetic energy, when it's at its uh, lowest point, is equal to the gravitational potential energy that it had, because it transfers all of that gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. And if you remember, the kinetic energy is given by one half mv squared, or one half times the mass times the velocity squared. And the gravitational potential energy is given by mgh, or the mass times the gravity times the height. So this becomes one half mv squared. That is equal to mgl. MGL time is MGL minus MGL times the cosine of theta. And uh, this is because of this diagram's geometry here. If you look at this, this will be the angle theta as shown in the picture. You will have a right angle here. So this value becomes L cosine theta, and this value becomes L sine theta. And its height, or the distance it is, 
away from the ground is this little segment here. So if it's going to be pulled higher, then uh, it will be a further distance away from the ground. So to find the height, we have to take the uh, total length of the swing, because when the swing is at rest, uh, this length L will cover the entire distance from the top of the swing to the bottom. And we're going to subtract uh, from L cosine theta from that to get our value H. And then we can just simply substitute that in here. So looking at this, we can factor out uh, MGL. This becomes 1 minus cosine theta. Redraw that. 1 minus cosine theta. And then uh, we need to solve for the velocity so that we can uh, plug it back into here. And uh, we, don't, we just need to solve for v squared, so we don't need to square root everything, since that way we can just directly plug it back in. So the masses cancel here. We get that 1 half v squared is equal to gl times 1 minus the cosine of theta. Um, I'm going to make some more room here. Rid of all of that. Oh, oops. Try that again. There we go. And now we get that uh, v squared is equal to 2gl times 1 minus the cosine of theta. Cosine of theta. And now uh, we simply need to plug this value back in. To plug that value back in for v squared here. So this becomes the tension is equal to the weight plus plus the mass times 2gl times 1 minus the cosine of theta. Divided by divided by length L, and if you notice, these two L's will cancel out, so you're left with the tension is equal to the weight plus two mg times one minus the cosine of theta. And, uh, to make more room. That. So from that, uh, if you notice, mg is the value of weight, since uh, the weight of the child is equal to its mass times the gravitational acceleration. So the tension is equal to the weight plus 2 times the weight times 1 minus cosine theta. And then you can uh, distribute this. Then can get you get this value. Oops, I'm equal sign here. And finally, you can factor out the weights, and you get that the tension is equal to the weight times three minus two cosine theta. And uh, that would be our expression for tension. So I'm going to rewrite it up here. The tension at the lowest point as a function, or in terms of the child's weight and theta, is going to be the weight, it's equal to the weight, times 3 minus 2 cosine theta. And that is how you would solve this problem here.